time of year work, literally Konami grabs a bomb and throws at us. Here are my 2017 balance prediction videos. So without further ado, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys share the video and smash the thumbs up button. All right, guys, enjoy the video. <laughs> Before I start this video, I just want to say that this list is just a ban list prediction and it's completely my opinion on what I believe should be put on the ban list for the upcoming format. This video was solely made to create a discussion amongst the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. So if you see cards that are on or aren't on the list, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below why you agree or disagree with the cards that I've listed. By the way guys, this list would not be possible if it wasn't for the Team Samurai X1 Facebook group's active people. The people and I created a discussion and talked about different cards being on the list before I actually made this video. So a huge shout out goes to all of you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. Also, a huge thank you goes to the GTA Yu-Gi-Oh! group and Jesse for also helping me organize this list. If you guys want to get involved and communicate with me more actively, make sure you guys check out my social media links in the description box below. Anyway guys, enjoy the video. It is that time of year again where we gather here together to discuss some cards that are dear to our hearts that will not be playable anymore. Here are my banless prediction for 2017. Banned. Magic Spectre, Unicorn, Kirin, and a lot of you guys see this card coming, and to be completely honest, I love this card with a passion. Not only does it have such an amazing artwork, but has a really powerful effect at the same time, and having it at 1, still Kirin is pretty broken. Be able to recycle itself and other Pendulum monsters back to the hand and bouncing back cards, interrupting plays, is completely unfair and broken, and you guys all know that. A 2000 beater that has a compulsory evacuation device effect per turn, per turn, that cannot die under the effect of Solemn Strike, that is untargetable, that is unaffected by card effects, is completely insane. Even if it gets kaiju if you still have Pendulum Scales intact, just Pendulum summon it out next turn and do the same she all over again. Kieran, to be honest man, I love you bro, but you gots to go. Vanity's Emptiness. Before I start talking about this card, let's do some personal connection between you and I. Do you ever encounter boards where you see a Kirin, Mithrilium, and a Banbuku on the board, and your opponent has that one back row, okay? One back row, and the split second you hit standby phase, your opponent flips the Vanity's Emptiness, and they look at you dead in the eye, and they're like, game? And you guys have all been there. I've been there. And this card is an auto win in most cases where boards are already established, which is completely unfair to the game and needs to be banned immediately. This card is completely unfair at all. It's not fair at all. And not allowing you to play the game is very unhealthy. Special summoning is a part of today's game. And taking that away from the opposing player is not fun at all. And just letting you guys know, Anti-Spell Fragrance versus Vanny's Emptiness is completely different from one another. Emptiness, okay, completely locks down your opponent from playing the game, while Anti-Spell is only geared and sided towards the Pendulum matchups. You can still special summon monsters under Anti-Spell Fragrance, you can still play the game, you can potentially make Castell and potentially bounce, you know, Anti-Spell Fragrance back into the deck, or potentially draw into, you know, to MST or Twin Twister and just getting rid of the Anti-Spell, but for Vanny's Emptiness, when flipped, if you do not have an answer for that such situation, like cards like MST or Twin Twister, in the current situation that you're in, sorry buddy, you're losing the duel. If you guys do not agree with me, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I really believe that Vanny's Emptiness is not healthy for the game and it's completely unfair. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and that will be really much appreciated. This one is a pretty obvious one in my personal opinion. Elder Entity Norden, aka Gandalf, aka Mermaid Man from Spongebob, aka Big Daddy Santa Claus. To be honest man, Norden, I love you. I believe that you make rogue decks viable, but in the current format that you are in, you gots to go man. This card enables you to make synchros and XCs plays very, very easily, and Norden basically makes Instant Fusion a one card XCs or synchro. And with Zodiacs coming along, if you're still alive man, you and Morat are going to be the next Dumb and Dumber. 
I also believe that Bahamut Shark is somewhat of a problem, but not as big as Norden because this card enables you to push out the second Bahamut Shark, enabling the second totally awesome. One Toad is pretty easy to deal with depending on the way that you try to bait it out. You got Kaijus, you got Lava Golem, you got so many cards to bait out the totally awesome. But when it comes to spamming the second shark or spamming the totally awesome, Norden enables that. Also, our list usually follows the OCG's previous list, which means that Norden has a pretty good chance of being banned because, you know, Norden is banned in the OCG. So let me know what you guys think, Norden or Bahamut Shark, in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment, but, you know, in my personal opinion, my stance is going to be banning Norden. So if you guys think of banning Bahamut Shark, let me know your reasons in the comment section below. Alright guys, let's start the discussion in the comments. I am putting this card under the maybe section of ban and the card that I'm putting in the maybe section of ban is Level Eater. And you know what, I believe that this card shouldn't get hit, but knowing Konami and the way that they organized the OCG list and the TCG list to imitate the OCG's previous ban list, Level Eater may, may get a ban, okay? But other than that, I don't think that this card may get hit at all because Synchro Spam decks aren't really topping as much right now. This card is still an overall powerful card since it enables you to spam Synchro Monsters over and over and even potentially could deck your opponent out if under Max C. But with the current situation that our TCG meta is in, I personally don't think that Level Eater is a problem and I believe that another card is the problem which I'll talk about further in the limited section. So that's pretty much it for the banned section, let's go off to the limited list. Limited. This card is technically a modern day hand loop enabler for any decks that can have access to him. Cyframe Lord Omega. This card is very ridiculous and those of you who actually faced it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Being able to dodge a lot of problematic cards, disrupting plays, and recycling banished cards is pretty broken. Not only that is a 2800 beater, but it's also a generic level 8 synchro. Spamming multiple copies of this card on board and looping up to potentially 3 cards per turn is very unhealthy. Another reasoning on this card going to 1 is that it was previously hit on the OCG ban list, so therefore it has a possibility of being on this list. You guys all seen this coming, this card is essentially the modern day tour guide which could be thrown in any deck as a consistent rank 3 engine. And as a matter of fact, it's better than tour guide generically since it doesn't require you to normal summon it. This card is Speedroy Teratop. Card is essentially a rank 3 XCs which will make Zodiacs very broken by making that one card invoker combo. Another contradiction to this is that this card might not get hit because it recently got its OT print in OTS and if Konami wants to push out Zodiacs and push out more players playing OTS tournaments to get the OT version, they might not hit it. Also, this card recently got hit in the OCG's January ban list, so they might not hit it on this list because you know what, like basically in the OCG, they'll hit something first and then they won't hit it on the TCG ban list and after the next ban list, they'll imitate you know the previous OCG list and they'll hit it on our list. So I don't believe that this card will be hit on this ban list, but it also might be hit. So you know what, I don't know. I'm putting this card at one though, but I don't know. I'm contradicting myself right now, man. Let me know in the comment section below. Terraforming. Nowadays, there's a lot of broken field spells that are out. Previously, it was Cosmo Town, and now it is Union Hanger. There's too many field spells out there, and instead of hitting most of them, I believe that it is right to hit its generic searcher. It shouldn't be so easy to have a generic field spell search card. This card is technically used as a deck thinner in most decks that uses field spells, basically similar to Upstar Goblin when it was back at 3, which main purpose was to thin out your deck. If you play 3 copies of a certain field spell and play 3 copies of Terraforming, you're essentially playing six copies of that field spell against is essentially a free deck then that's my reasoning behind terraforming let me know your thoughts in the comment section below Dante Traveler of the Burning Abyss putting this card to one will push out new archetype to being played and to be honest I really don't think that Dante will be on here but looking back at the OCG previous list Dante might have a possibility of being on this list Sangan with its recent errata, it's safe to say that Sangan can return from the ban list to the limited list. Wind up Carrier Zenmighty. 
in the fast phase format that we're in and the amount of board wipes that we have, it's safe to say that Carriers and Mighty can see a return in the TCG. Hey, if it's not doing anything in the OCG, why not bring it back here? Can we all agree on this? L Shadal Construct. This card is a fan favorite and shoutouts to all you Shadal fans out there. Shoutouts to Nock. Nock is the biggest Shadal fan. But anyways, this card alone will push out a lot of Shadal hype, making Shadals being played. We gotta help out the Shadal fans out there and Konami, if you wanna try to make some monies, I'm pretty Pretty sure a lot of Shadal players will pick up Shadals again if Construct is at 1. Anyways, card is more towards my wishlist to be honest. And in today's metagame, we got tons of Mirror Forces that could deal with this card. Also, since Lightning is now available to most decks, Construct shouldn't be that much of a problematic card to deal with anymore. Last, but certainly not least, Gateway of the Six. Boy in the OCG, they have it at 2 and it's doing absolutely nothing. So it's pretty safe to say that the TCG could get at least one gateway. With many back row destruction formats that we're in right now, cards like Twin Twister, MST, Cosmic Cyclones, I believe that gateway deserves to be at 1. If this card were to come back, it won't be able to make boards with Chalkmaster anymore. And that, won't, that was one of the main reasons why it was banned. Because you're able to spam Kazans and make Chalkmaster. Now if it comes back, you're just going to be spamming Kazan and Grandmaster. And making Shadow and making generic rank 4 XYZs. We also got cards like 2 Dark Holes, 3 Slumbers. So many Kaijus to deal with boards nowadays. So Konami, if you happen to watch this video, please swing back one gateway for the Samurai Fam and I. Thanks. That would be great. Off. To the semi limited list, and I only have one card for the semi limited list. If you guys have more cards, leave it in the comment section below. But I believe that Book of Moon deserves to be back at two and even potentially back at three. But before it goes back to three, it definitely needs to go back to two first. But, anyways, here's my reasoning behind it Book of Moon, this card has been phased out for a while and it comes in and out of play, which I believe should at least come to two. If this card comes back to two, it is a card that promotes a skillful game. Therefore, I believe that this card should come back to two. Unlimited. Dark Hole. As the game speeds up, more and more board clearance are necessary to combat against today's current meta, thus a third Dark Hole would be fine. Next, we got Dragon's Ravine. Card isn't seeing much play in today's meta game, so is Dragoonities, so it's time to bring this card back to 3 and hey, we don't got Dragon Rulers no more so this card isn't much of a problem anymore. Last but not least, for my unlimited list, I got Thunder King Ryo. This card isn't seeing much play in today's current meta, not even in the side deck, so I'm pretty sure this card will be okay and balanced if it were to come back to 3. As you guys could see, I did not add cards like ABCs, Pot of Desires, totally awesome, Dimensional Barrier in here because these cards are new cards that has just been released and it wouldn't make sense to hit them right off the bat. We all know that cards that have been newly released usually don't get hit right away unless you're Monkey Board. Of course guys, I gotta give you guys my honorable mentions. My honorable mention goes to my boy Stratos. Man, Stratos man, if you can come back, my brother will start playing Yu-Gi-Oh again. So Konami, please, I um my one and only teammate on Team Samurai X1's channel, uh, you know, uh, vanished because you banned Stratos and the only deck that he played was uh Heroes, so if, uh, you know, you unban Stratos, you know, my brother can come back and join this channel. So, if you can do that for me, man, that will make my New Year's really, really great. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for my 2017 balance prediction. Remember that this is just my predictions and speculations. So, if you guys have any other suggestions to add towards this list, be sure to comment in the comment section below. I'll try to respond to as many of you guys as possible. Let's create a discussion, guys. Also, make sure to check out my second channel, Samham TV, for amazing and crazy food vlogs. And also join my 50,000 subscriber contest, which is going to be ending very, very soon. Alright guys, have a happy new year. I love you all. Alright guys, peace.